media editing class. Um, welcome back to week five. We're going to start out with a short video on alpha channels. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of an alpha channel. Uh, normally in video production, we work on in RGB, which is red, green, blue. And hey, I just taught myself something new today. There's also a RGBA, which I've seen the term before, but I didn't really know what it was. So that's red, green, blue with an alpha channel. And only certain kind of file types can have an alpha channel. So like a JPEG cannot have an alpha channel. Uh, Photoshop file can have an alpha channel. Uh, um, PNG can have an alpha channel. And alpha channels give you a lot of power. And when you're working in After Effects and you're working in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and a lot of other programs, you have alpha channels. So like QuickTime has an alpha channel. An animation has an alpha channel. An H.264 does not have an alpha channel. Okay, so what I have here is just two layers. I have a video layer, so that would be RGB. Um, and then I have a text layer. Notice the text layer just shows that. So just an example is this little button right here. Um, if I click on it, notice it's red, green, blue. And if I click on it, you see red, green, blue, alpha. I'm going to click alpha. And notice I don't see it's all solid white. It's all solid white because there's no alpha channel on this one. So if I turn off my video layer, notice there's my alpha channel. Okay, It's not showing the color. It's showing you um, what you can use for transparencies and stuff. So the way to think about this is Think of 256 colors. So white is a solid that you cannot see through, so it's 256. Black is, um, it would be zero, so that means totally transparent. So if I want to make this 50% um, opacity, so I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go to um, transform. I'm going to go to my opacity, and if I say 50%, that's going to turn gray. So if I hit that, notice how it turns gray. So that's telling me um, when I bring back my video and I take it. So I'm going to take it back to, I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to take it to RGB, and notice it, it's kind of dull there. I'm going to turn my video back on, and now that is transparent. So if I move that around, you know, you can kind of see through it, okay? Um, so if I come up to, I'm going to go to 400%, you can see what I mean by it's transparent. So again, I'm going to go to 25%. So that is an alpha channel, and it kind of lets you do transparencies. And again, if you're 100, you know, it's full. There's no transparency there. OK, um, so that's your alpha channel. And again, um, if I want to save this where, you know, like if I save them, I, I, we'll, we'll show you some stuff when we build our lower thirds and how you can save a file with an alpha channel to be able to take it into another program. OK, so what I want to do next is in the next video we're going to go into we're going to start introducing photoshop for video and with that we will um work on alpha channels a little bit more so again that's alpha channel in premiere pro or in after effects